Hello, hello, this is Budgets with Grace, where I give you a glimpse of my life using the lens of my budget. My name's Grace. I'm really stoked to be coming at you from a new setup. I hope that everything works correctly when it comes to audio and lights and just all the general things that can go wrong when you move spaces. This is the office that I've been talking about that I've been renting to do my uh, contract work at Amazon and now I have moved my recording situation here to record here as well. So this is the new setup for now. We'll see how long it lasts. I use a zero-based budgeting system in the software YNAB or You Need a Budget. If you want to give that software a try, there's a link in my description below. It's some of the best budgeting software out there. In addition to that, if you see some features in my account that you don't recognize in your own, it's probably part of Toolkit for YNAB. It's a free Google Chrome and Firefox browser extension. There's also a link for it in my description. Aside from that, if you feel like supporting me, you can use the links to buy me a coffee, follow me on Instagram, or of course, like, comment, subscribe, all the things. So I can see strategy I never budget for. Those are like kind of weird. Um, but for my wealth building, I am going to add another week's worth of automatic payments to my retirement accounts and my bridge accounts. So I don't really talk about those payments or do Transfer Tuesday anymore because they are automatic and I don't have to think about it, which is the best part. And I think I'll fund one of these. I'll do home equity and then we'll do risky business in another paycheck. So now getting into immediate obligations, I'm going to take everything that is the 10th or before, click on underfunded. And the only thing for HOA is I split this with my boyfriend. So I'm going to oops, divide that by two. True Expenses just reminded me, shout out to the people using my link to get YNAB and that gets you a free month, it gets me a free month and I just hope you're really enjoying it as much as I enjoy it. I can move out the date for YNAB. So I'm gonna edit the goal and I actually got two people signing up so I'm gonna skip two months. Won't be until December, which is crazy. And I'm going to release this. Gosh, and I guess I won't use that in August either, so I will be funding that again in September. Oh my god. Oh my god. I guess I'll edit this goal in August so that it records it there at least. Coo, coo, coo. All right, now I'm just going to check off a few of these other ones. Pretty little amounts until we get down here. If do all of those ones, how much? 118, and then I'll do the computer as well. Cool. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom. I kind of have started doing, <laughs> I call it a sandwich method. Uh, like I do the top bread <laughs> and the bottom bread and then the meat of like my lifestyle spending is right in the middle. So just look to the top of the budget and now I'm at the bottom. And... Looks like my nest egg funds are next. I think I'll try to do wedding. We'll see if I can leave that huge sum of money down there. Quality of life. We'll do more towards the end of the month. Let's see, oh yeah, I increased my anniversary goal. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to manage that, but I wanted to get for something super special. <laughs> So 
we can do 20 into the wish farm. We'll do 50 into giving. Now the spending. Oh, the spending. Grow 100 into groceries. Five into home goods. Pretty good. Um, I'm going to leave this amount actually. I'm going to go back to June. I'll just put this into found it, tuck it in there. And I actually. went and got my prescriptions. So I went and got my prescriptions and if you have ever taken medication for mental health, you know that sometimes you don't take it on time every time. And so in, I ended up having to purchase my refills at a different time. So I'm actually gonna release everything that's in here and I will just worry about budgeting for that full savings amount next month, which mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like it should be higher than that, actually. I'll just put it at 300 and see. So that's a big found it. Oh, I didn't mean to do all of it. And now I'm just going to go through the rest of this and search for some extra pennies and dollars. Anytime I get like weird change while buying cannabis, I just throw the change into my quarter jar because I'm not keeping track of quarters when it comes to that. No sorry, Bob. Car wash or it's car cost. So I'm trying to combine and not be such a budget freak and like have car costs instead of like gas plus car wash. Really, those are the only two things going in there. I haven't gotten my car wash this month, so I think this actually needs to change and go up to like 45. That should keep me in the clear. And I'll just go up to found it and move 10 into car costs. And that, that will do us. Do us quite well. Clothing. I did buy um, some clothing, but I used a sinking fund to cover it because honestly, I just wanted a new outfit for the 4th of July and I bought this dress that I really love the cut of and so I wanted it in red and I um, didn't budget for it in my clothing originally, but I just moved it from my sinking fund and so that's all there is to it. And actually, I don't need this full amount. I just need 11 bucks. So if I take four, it's back into found it. I know I'm just like moving money like a mad lady. Moving money like a mad lady. Oh, Jesus. What am I doing? Beauty spent a lot, but most of this is like maintenance, hygiene stuff, like contact solution and toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant. It's so exciting. I have a bill coming because I don't have insurance and going to the doctor is expensive. And that's looking fine. Did I get a return? I did get a return. I can take this. And let's see. Anything 
odd in here. So I think I'm, I'll leave 4th of July for now. Figure out what to do with that later. I did buy my dad gifts. Did that come through? Here we go. It is in here. It just hasn't been categorized yet. So we'll do that quickly. Wine up. Still waiting for a response about what the heck auto distribute does. I don't know. So now gifts I will cover from, so it's um, my dad's birthday month as well as Father's Day. And the reason this is a little bit off is because I bought a card, but I'll just cover this with misc and we're good. reset the bowl for next year and I think I'm also going to increase it. What did I put Mother's Day at? 75? Because I budgeted this year just for my parents but I have others in the parental mother-father space. Cool. Takes us all the way down here. And I think that's everything for found it. So I'm just gonna put this back into to be budgeted. What can we do? I think I wanna do nest egg. 45 in there. And of course I'm gonna see what that does to the goal going forward. It doesn't move the needle all, all that much. Um, let's see. Damn, that, how far away is this? A few years, okay, that's why. So I think I'll just leave it at 45, so I'll call that good. And let's see, maybe some more sinking funds, true expenses. Ooh, just the right amount for tires. Maybe I'll go ahead. I will just top off coffee. So we're so close. And then I guess I will throw this into my groceries. Excellent. Excellent. I also implemented one other thing this week that I'm super excited about. So I'm going to switch tab and look at Amazon. Oh, Amazon, my friend, my foe, my everything. I started a new list called YNAB Checkpoint. This is for when I get an idea. As a creative person, I get a lot of ideas about things I could do in the house or whatever. And now this is going to be where I save those. Instead of clicking buy now, I'm going to add to this list and then put it in YNAB. Like, a good YNABer. So I thought about like, oh, what about like string lights and hanging them outside on the patio. That would be so great, which would have cost me probably after tax like 40, 35, 40 to get both of these um, lights and hooks. So I held off. I don't know if I want to do that, but I really want these super cubes. I found out about them on TikTok. I'm like obsessed with TikTok right now. So I'm going to add that to a wish list item. I mean, I don't know that it needs to be a wish list item because it is like not a lot. It's less than 50. 
I think that I just need to refer to that list and budget for it in the appropriate category if I truly want it. So that would go into new house stuff. What was the price? About 20 bucks. So um, I didn't do it this week. Maybe I'll do it next week and decide that I want to budget for those super cubes. Um, but that's kind of a new technique that I'm going to be trying to curb my Amazon spending. I believe that's all I have to share today. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support. You can follow me on Instagram. You can buy me a coffee. And of course, you can like, comment, subscribe, all the things, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.